right, we're live. You got it, Cap. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakwadash. The double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and citations to the elect. All right, we're the brothers of Great Millstone, man. You know, Great Millstone, Florida, man. Uh, you know, you got the um, brothers of Miami down here in Tampa, man. Okay, all right, with the Tampa brothers, man. You know, and hey, you know, uh, we got the apostle, or I'm sorry, the elder, uh, Big Gad in town, you know. Um, so we about to head to, you know, uh, go host the brothers, man. All right, and hey, Spirit's on us right now, okay, to go into the fact that you heathens, all right, and you Edomites really are going into slavery. All right, hardcore bondage, man, as it's prophesied according to the Holy Scriptures, man. Somebody get Revelation 13 and 9. That's right. All right, you know. Hey, cause that's part. Hey, that's part of the prophecies, man. Mm -hmm. All right, after America's destruction, man, the rest of you remaining Edomites and heathens are going into chains, man. That's right. right to be our servants and handmaids. All right, uh, for a thousand years, hardcore bondage, man. Okay, and afterward, you, Edom you Edomites are going to be destroyed from off the face of the earth, man. Okay. Yeah, this is the book of Revelation, chapter thirteen, and verse nine. It says, "If any man have an ear, let him hear." Verse 10, it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he, so he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right, so those who led us, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans into captivity, right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? These nations, you know, mainly Esau, Edom, you know, led us into captivity. So they're, the judgment of, of you leading someone in, into captivity is you going into captivity. Right? That's, That's right. right. You know, they killed us with a sword. You know, they hung our, our hung our sons, our daughters. You know, they hung our, the, the, the people, the fathers of our, of our nations, all right? They gotta, they gotta get hung, you know. They gotta get killed by the sword, man. They gotta get put to death, you know. And that's the judgment. That's what we're patiently waiting for, man. That's right. How about Shimon Shah to give us that power and that vengeance, all right? All right. That's that's me, you know. That's right. That's right. And that's to right. add to add what you were saying, you know, it's only fair, you know. Hey, the scriptures talk about, you know, what the Lord said. He required that which is past, right. you know. And hey, you you heathens, especially you Edomites. All right, you've done a lot of, okay, grimy shit to our people. And the Lord didn't forget, okay? And that's why he put the spirit on his men, all right, to remind you that he didn't forget, all right? And that's why Revelation, okay, what the brother just brought out, uh, 13, verse uh, 9 through uh, and 10, I mean, excuse me, Revelation um, 13, 9 and 10, the water, all right, is so impactful because that's the last book, all right? And that book is literally telling you your future fate, man. All right, everybody, you know, they always hear about revelation. Ooh, it's, it's revelation, but hey, that particular, those verses right there are very uh, uh, powerful, man, because it shows, hey, okay, the Lord didn't forget, okay, you you heathens, you go and serve us, especially you Edomites, all right, and that's your future destiny. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Uh, you got uh, something? Yeah, real quick. Uh, Jeremiah 30 in uh, verse uh, 16. I want to get this word here, devour. Uh, it says, uh, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. When you go into this word here, devour, it says uh, from the 1400s, of beasts, of persons to eat up entirely. And we've been, and it also says consume as food to swallow up. So the nation of Israel have been consumed. We've been ate up entirely. We've been devoured. We're, we've been conquered. So I'm, I'm going to read this again because this is what's coming. Deuteronomy 30 and 7 to Esau Edom, man. Okay, the chief, uh, 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 what is it? Enemy of Yahweh Shemi Shai. Okay, according to Psalms 83. As, as we've been devoured as a nation entirely, we've been ate up. You're going to get ate up entirely, man. You're going to have to suffer double too. A double shot, man, coming to you, straight face, and you better make sure you j drink every every sip. Okay? That's right. You know, all, all the drop, hey, bro, is not a drop. It's, <laughs> you gonna get, you gonna get your, you gonna get a thousand years worth. How about that, man? Yeah, Thus yep. said the scriptures, man. That's right. All right. This yep. is a uh, Jeremiah thirty verse sixteen. Therefore, all they that devour thee, all right, and all these nations devoured us, man. 
swallowed us up. Limitations, the second chapter says, is this the nation, which, the, uh, which they call the city of beauty, all right? Okay, the city of peace, all right? Amen. These nations clap their hands, they walk past us, man. And we're devoured, man, okay? When it comes down to Jake being a, a, a consumed, Jake, hey, man, hey, you, you tied down the bills, baby mama drummer. Okay, so forth and so on. You are devout. And then, and, and then to be on top of that, you, you niggas don't even know who you are as a nation. You know, you devour. Therefore, all they that devour, these shall be devoured. And all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Mm. And all they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And it's, uh, I believe that's First Maccabees, the second chapter, where it speaks about what nation have not had a hand in her captivity, man. Okay, what nation have not had a hand in her spoils? Okay, and what Jer uh, I believe Jeremiah said is, is Jacob a homeborn uh, slave? Why is he spoiled? Okay, so as we've been spoiled as pretty much getting the goods, and uh, those goods is, is, is all spiritual too, man. You know, Jake, Jake has been devoured as, as far as his spirituality, man. That's right. He's, he's pretty much, uh, as we get further to this man wanting to wanting to tip everybody is pretty much detaching you from your help on your outside but thanks be to the lord reserving the elect all right the scriptures say uh no flesh will be saved because ultimately everything is trying to detach us from your help on your outside the spirituality of life is trying to devour and eat us up man so it says and they that spoil thee shall be as spoil, and all that prey upon thee will i give for a prey so those that th these nations actually prey upon us man Esau he prays upon us man but we are living in a time where Esau eat him he's hey the scriptures say the snare is laid for thee man we are living in a time where the snare is laid in the way right. a trap is set it says uh set for you man right so it's your return okay right. it's gonna be a role reversal man <laughs> all right you know he's even he's even my son had the chance to take us down as a nation as per biblical proph prophecy Okay, that was our judgment, but now it's time for you to have to drink of that cup, man. That's right. All right, along with the rest of these nations, which I have on uh, Psalm 149, okay, and 5, it says, Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds, let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord, man. Okay. All right. So the saints are the Israelites, man. Okay. All right. We're the people of the Lord, man. Are right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans? All right. You're Israelites. The Twelve tribes of Israel, man. Okay. All right. And in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord's gonna allow the elect. Hey, Amen. When the kingdom comes, the Abishai comes back. The Lord's gonna allow the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, to get up off those chariots and put you heathens and, and your kings and your nobles and even some of you peons into chains, man. That's right, man. All right, to serve slavery underneath the Israelites, man. Okay, because we're the true kings of the earth. The scriptures call us what? A nation of kings and priests, man. And as the title of the video, Lord willing, will be, kings don't work, man. That's right. Okay, we need servants and handmaids, man. That's like right. The scriptures say, a stranger shall uh, build, uh, build up your walls, man. Mm -hmm. All right. That's you know? right. You got some? Yeah, I got some. You can bring it down some more. <clears throat> it's book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob mm -hmm. and will yet choose Israel. So right then and there, that's it, man. All right. The Lord chooses Israel. Point blank period. All right. So you you heathens, all right, you have no association with this Bible. All right. You just need to put it down, all right, and live it up. Especially you Edomites, man, because this is your time to rule. That's right. All right. The Lord chose Israel and Israel only. That's why, you know, you plantation Christians, you're gonna get judged. Continue. Yep. It says for Isaiah 14 1 says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel mm -hmm. and set them in their own land. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're waiting on to be delivered and put back in our homeland. All right. So we could be kings right. and priests. That's right. All right. We'll be the head and you'll be the tail. That's right. That's right. Continue. It says, And the strangers shall be joined unto them. Mm -hmm. The strangers, yeah. real you know, clarification. All right, you go into the book of Peter's and Baba get the get the strangers. All right, because those are Israelites. All right. right. There's two different types of strangers mm -hmm. in the scriptures, man. 
it talks about strangers in relation to salvation mm -hmm. and the promises, all right, the favor of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's talking about Israelites, right. okay? But when you see strangers in terms of slavery mm -hmm. and the hatred of the Most High, the wrath of the Most High, that's talking about heathens, man. Right. Okay. That's why it's imperative to read it in context. Yeah, precept upon precept. Mm -hmm. All right. I got a precept. It's a. Uh, this is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, and verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, to the strangers scra scattered throughout countries, Galatia, mm -hmm. Cappadocia, Asia, Parthenia, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. So there you go, okay? The strangers are the scattered Israelites. That's why when you read James 1 and 1, all right, to the 12 tribes are scattered greetings, okay? And so that's what that's talking about in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, all right? Those are the Israelites that are scattered among the nations, all right? Uh, they, they even look like the other nations, but their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because it's always about the Israelites, all right? You got it, you got it. Right. Isaiah 14 and 1 says, For the Lord will have... So says, for the Lord we have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord mm. for servants and handmaids. Servants and handmaids. So that's it, man. How come you plantation Christians don't bring that up? All right. Because, hey, man, that would mess up this whole, okay, vibration that you're trying to push out, man, to deceive the world, man. All right? You Edomites, man, you're going to be serving us. All right? Kings don't work. Right. All right? See, that's the thing. You know, I'm going to bring this out again, man. You, you, you Edomites, you really think that, okay, seeing a Jake working at the, okay, in the back of the kitchen, okay, mopping the floor, you think that that's normal. That ain't normal, man. All right, you're supposed to be mopping our floor. You're supposed to be in the kitchen. All right, no, well, fuck that. Don't even touch it. Clean our toilets, man. All right, you're going to do all the filthy shit, man. All right? But that's the thing, you know. You probably, you might think that, oh, 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 these, uh, these, okay, these jakes, man, that's that's what they live for, to serve us. Nah, all right? We understand now, uh, we were put to serve you for punishment, but now there's going to be a role reversal. That's right. All right? And that's why hey, everything's happening on the earth, man, because there's a change coming, that's man. That's right. All right, we gonna be on top. You gonna be at the bottom. At the bottom, okay? We gonna lend to you. You gonna borrow from us. That's right. All right, king shit. Right. All right, and we gonna keep beating that shit into your okay. Until the Lord says stop pushing it, pushing the word, the famine, the word. We gonna keep pushing it out. All right, because you like to push out your, uh, your bullshit ass doctrine and all that, like a uh, like a broken record. Well, we doing this in a righteous spirit, man. That's right. As a broken record. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. If I may bring out this and I go mm -hmm. back to the Isaiah 14 real quick. But this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7 it says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. You know, so Esau, the real servants, you know, they're, they're, they're high right now because you know, the Lord set them up. You know, and the princes walking as servants upon the earth because of why the Lord brought us down. But in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be up, man. That's right. We're going to live forever, man. The That's Lord right. will give us all these blessings, the riches of the world. Earth, man, we are Yasharal. We are the prince, the, the prince of the power, man. Sorry, y'all mean he, Shar, prince, Allah, power, man. We are prince of power, man. The Lord made a covenant with our fathers, that's right. All right, y'all gonna, gonna be the true servants of the earth, and after a thousand years, you Edomites gonna be destroyed, man. That's right, you know. So, I'll just finish off this Isaiah 14 and verse 2 says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, yeah? Mm. All right, so we was in captivity, y'all let us in captivity, now y'all gotta go into captivity. Y'all ruled over us, you know, like Jake, y'all y'all sent this Jake to fucking 100 years in jail, man. All right, y'all 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 give Jake the, no mercy, all right, just keep say, uh, uh, Y'all y'all show no mercy no mercy to the ancients, man. We're not gonna show mercy to you Edomites. The Lord said he's gonna devour the whole house of Edom, man. That's right. You know? yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, Isaiah 60 and 10. It says, And the sons of strangers <laughs> shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. 
All right, so the sons of strangers, just talking about you heathens, man. All right, y'all gonna be building up our palaces and our and you know our mansions. That's right. Okay, the same way you see Jake on the construction site yep. and on the you know the, the the plant site, always building some shit for Esau, man. And the hot ass son. Okay, all right, you had Jake out there in the plantation, and Jake always doing something, man. You know what I'm saying, Jake, Jake, you can find Jake doing anything, man. All right, in the office or out there doing the hard labor, it's always Jake, man. Well, it's gonna be a complete role reversal, man. You Edomites and you heathens gonna get that hard labor, man. Okay, the construction, man. Okay, all right, it says, therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, which the forces goes into the, re the riches and the resources, man. All right, you're gonna bring us all your riches, your gold, your silver, precious stones, all right, your, your bodies, your, your women, whatever. Okay, cattle, okay, and it's gonna be ours, man. That's right. And that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish, yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious, man. So all of that's gonna be what to beautify the land of our land, the land of Israel, which is our land, man. Okay. All right, it says, um, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. They're going to bow down, basically. Right, right. And they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel, man. That's right. Okay. All right, so y'all going to acknowledge that we the people of the Lord. You're going to bow down and reverence and worship and kiss the ring and the scepter, God damn it. That's right. Okay. That's right. All right, so say what? Um, um, he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. Spirit, I got you. Go ahead, bro. Oh, That's spirit, the same time, as soon as, you know, as you said it, I'm yeah, talking about it. We, we can end off on that, brothers. Yeah, because okay. mm -hmm. yeah, true, true, true power is coming. And, and you know, uh, it's the spirit, too. You know, uh, I uh, did a lesson through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemi uh last week, pretty much going on to these people don't understand what true power is. People actually think that power is having a status, okay, <laughs> in, in, in uh, the planet Earth. Okay, in uh, captivity, man. All right, having a 401k, having a retirement plan, having a pension. No, true power is having rulership, dominion, okay? And at the lift of a finger, all right? And that's too much work, just lifting your finger, man. All right? But true power is having dominion and rulership over nations, man. That's right. And that's reserved, okay? That power, that true power is reserved, okay, for a specific amount of men. That specific amount is in Revelations, the seventh chapter, being 144,000 reserved for that power, man. Okay. So just to back uh, the cap up, man. All right. It, it, hey, we're, co we're coming into that power. Okay. Every day we're coming. In, we're, hey, the scripture says uh, from one glory to another, man. We're going from glory to glory. This man had his glory. Now we're going into the glory of the Lord. It's going to last forever, man. That's right. Revelations chapter 2 verse 25 but that which ye have already hold fast till I come and what we have is the treasures the scripture said is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom what we have is the truth we have the precious jewels of Yahweh so he said hold fast uh, till I come and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations All right, and like the brother uh like the brother Samak was speaking about earlier, okay, this morning, all right? We just gonna endure it. Hey, man, it, 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 if it's on the right hand or the left hand side, it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. We just hope to be saved in this time, man. We just hope to be the, those ones that's gonna overcome. We hope to be the ones to endure until the end. That's right. The man. same shall be saved. That's just the spirit that we in, man. Okay. Uh, verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations, okay? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received of my father. All right, and that's going into John 17. The Lord said, uh, I and them, thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one. So we're going to have that, we're going to have that perfect rulership, like Elder Yahshua said, okay? Your will is going to, our will is going to be done through Yahweh Shai from Ye from Yahweh, man. Okay. Our will is going to be done through Yahweh Shai from Yahweh, man. That's right. That's you right. know? So and, and, and it's nothing, it's nothing they can stop that because this is true power, man. That's right. You know? 
Hey, so with that, hey, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakudash. Of honor, so the elder apostles of Great Millstone and citations to the elect. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Abad Babal. Shalom.